zero. This this video is about how to reactivate the water system. On the 17B from Coleman. So underneath the queen bed to the left is a panel to access the water pump. You need to make sure that this valve is pointed to the line that goes to the tank. Oftentimes when it's winterized, it'll be left pointing to the bypass line and that won't put water into the trailer. So we turn this to the tank. Then we come over to the water heater my assistant will take the screw the rest of the way out. Uh, where is it? Right here. Mm. Then the panel just kind of bounces loose. And inside is your water heater. Because I did the winterization and haven't dewinterized yet, my valves are still pointed to bypass loop, which means there's no water in my water heater tank. You need to turn the valves so that they're pointing back at the water tank where the handle's pointed is where the water is going to flow to or from. So both valves pointed at the tank opens it up for water to flow in and out of the tank. Now at this point, we come over here and we have to switch on our water pump. Now because I have mine winterized and I don't have water in it, I don't really want to turn the pump on. So now it's time for imagination. Turn your pump on, you'll hear it prime up. Once it has pressure, you just open the water tap Ooh. and water will, air will flow out. And then eventually when the water tank fill, the hot water tank fills, you will get water out of the spigot. At that point, you then can turn on your water heater. You do not want to turn on the water heater if there is no water in it. It will melt the insulation and ruin it. Okay, that is how you reactivate the water system on the Coleman 17B.